Somebody had asked on um, Amazon regarding the um, DeWalt 20 volt battery adapters uh, for the v it's a version 6. Um, if that adapter can be used with their DC, I believe it was a 35. I, from what I found, I think it's a DC 58 on is more like the version 6, but um, battery design at least. You know, not the same, but similar, maybe, but I, I, don't quote me, but they're similar at least. Where these DC 56, there's two versions of those battery designs. I want to say A and B, I forget what they call them exactly offhand. I just kind of did this real quick. Um, came to mind randomly, but, um, and it's on my desk, so there's a project I need to move forward on. So, um, thing is, this battery is working good once I charge it. Uh, the thing is, I'm charging now, um, just the battery itself. I'm not using the port because it's got the three output values and I haven't, one, an adapter for it and two, um, made a, a, a dual or have a dual power supply for that and I'm not confident about the exact voltage values are other than with those aftermarket uh, chargers detailing anyways main point I wanted to make was have a video that's just for this DC 56 and to show that this cover basically can unclip these six clip points can be popped out, spudged or jammed with something, and then very carefully that cover can be slid and off, slid off. And what I think needs to be done, and please comment down below, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Um, and I'm going to post this just to ask, can I jumper, when I remove, say I remove all these batteries, and I just take the switchable... DeWalt adapter instead of doing you know 3D scanning photogrammetry of this battery upper section to make a custom uh, mount. I figure well it's already has a switch in it for eight bucks and the leads. Why not wire the positive to the positive end and the negative to the negative end and don't where I just pointed might not be I forget which is which. Um, uh, yeah I don't remember which is which. It actually might be something like this is a positive end this is a negative end down here but anyways wire those up and then for the load balancing and also for I think there's some logic in there the microcontroller at test to see each battery charge difference is it more than a certain voltage or current or power something like that can I just basically solder together each um, uh, lead connector with a wire so that those battery management system, that logic circuit, will think there's a zero difference. Is that all it's needed, or does it have to actually make a measurement and then do a subtraction? So I'm, I'm wondering what, uh, and does that measurement have to be a certain value? I wonder what that firmware is like. So I'm not doing anything yet, because um, I'm not sure if that'll work. I do have this battery from the version 6 that I already had a bad cell on the side, I just used the adapter, I'm not going to bother making. Um, but this one was broken, so I could maybe try to repair it, and then do the test on there. So I'm back and forth. I'm almost thinking I might parallel this for now, um, just solder on. It's not good practice because they're different batteries, so <laughs> I probably won't do that either. But anyways, just some ideas. Uh, that last one's kind of bad practice, but before I go ahead and cut and remove these batteries. Figure what's uh, what's your thoughts out there? Can I just jumper those individual cells together, solder in this um, DeWalt adapter to the positive and negative and be good to go? You know, I don't know. Comment down below, share, like, subscribe, and um, post on social media or whatever. Um, hope you learned something new. I are in the process of learning something new, so watch for the next video, and um, I'll talk to you later. Thanks much, and have a good day. Bye for now.